Welcome everyone. Today, we will learn about PDC dull grading and how to rate wear on a scale of 1 to 8, with 1 being the least amount of wear and 8 the most. Let's begin. PDC dull grading system is a system of 8 categories to grade the performance of a drill bit when it is pulled from the well. Categories are inner cutting structure, outer cutting structure, primary dull characteristic, location of primary characteristic, bearing seals, for PDC bits only, amount under gauge, other secondary dull characteristics, and the reason the bit was pulled. With this system, an accurate and easy grading of the drill bit performance can be ensured for maximum efficiency. When assessing cutters for their inner and outer cutting structures, a rating of 1 to 8 is used. A rating of 1 implies that 1 eighth of the diamond table is worn, and 8 signifies that there is no remaining diamond table. For the first two positions of the dull grading code, the average rating of both the inner and outer cutting structure is entered. When it comes to PDC dull grading, recognizing the inner and outer cutting structure is important. The inner cutting structure is composed of the inner two-thirds of the bit diameter, while the outer cutting structure consists of the final one-third. A useful guideline to recall is that the inner number stands for the cutters inside the nose, while the outer number symbolizes those outside. Knowing this is essential when considering PDC dull grading. When assessing diamond wear, it is essential to consider both the exterior and interior cutting symmetry of the diamond. Utilizing the 1 to 8 grading system, a diamond can be precisely graded for wear. A rating of 1 implies that there is below 1 eighth of the diamond table left. Ratings of 2 to 8 signify a progressive increase in diamond table remaining. In order to obtain precise wear grades, the 1 to 8 rating system must be strictly followed. The slide is talking about PDC dull grading. When dull grading cutters, it is important to consider the amount of effective diamond table that is left. As an example, a complete dellum is always rated an 8. Chipping, spalling and dellum all affect the durability of the cutter and should be taken into account when grading the cutter. Assessing a drill bit after use involves determining the dull characteristics that may have decreased its performance. If there are multiple such characteristics, the primary cause of the failure needs to be identified. In case the drill bit is in good condition, or no dull condition is present, the entry in the field should be marked as no. Accurate assessment of the drill bit is essential for ensuring optimal performance in the future. In this slide I will cover some of the dull characteristics, or damage, that a PDC cutter can undergo. These characteristics include broken cutter, BC, broken teeth, BT, balled up, BU, cord, CR, chipped teeth or cutters, CT, delaminated cutter, DEL, erosion, or, heat checking, HC, junk damage, JD, lost teeth or cutters, LT, plugged nozzle, PN, ring out, RO, spalled cutter, SP, wash out, WO, and worn teeth, WT. It is important to note that BC and BT are two distinct characteristics even though they are often combined and referred to as, BC, BT. In this slide I'm going to discuss some of the common damage that can occur to PDC cutters. This includes broken cutters and teeth, balled up, cord, chipped teeth and cutters, delaminated cutters, erosion, heat checking, junk damage, lost teeth, plugged nozzle, ring out, spalled cutters, wash out and worn teeth. There are two characteristics, BC and BT, which are usually referred together as BC, BT, but it's important to remember that they are two distinct characteristics. Assess the condition of your drill bit by looking at the cone, nose, shoulder, and gauge to identify the primary dull characteristic. Once this has been identified, Enter the main location of the characteristic into the field, for example, S, for shoulder. The PDC dull grading system is used to assess the condition of drill bits. It is divided into two sections, the gauge and the wear. 
The gauge section is represented by either in or an integer beginning at 1. In means that the bit is still at full gauge, whereas a value of 1 equals 1 16th under gauge. A value of 2 equals 1 8th, 3 equals 3 16ths, and so on. The where section is represented by an integer beginning at 5 and is described in further detail in the upcoming slide. To accurately gauge a PDC bit, fit the gauge ring around the bit and measure the gap left. Divide this measurement by 2 and round down to the nearest 1 16th of an inch. For instance, if the gap was 4 16ths of an inch, the bit would be 2 16ths of an inch or 1 8th of an inch under gauge, and the value of 2 should be entered into the gauge field. When there is more than one dull characteristic present on a bit, you need to identify the primary dull characteristic and enter its code into the field. If there is no other dull condition, just enter no into the field. Be sure to be cautious when categorizing the dull characteristics. Understanding why a bit is pulled during a PDC dull grading operation is paramount. It is essential to identify if it is caused by penetration rate, motor failure, or total depth being reached, to correctly assess the bit performance. Besides cutting structure failure, there can be failures within the BHA that may detrimentally impact the bit. Therefore, it is vital to ascertain the exact cause of the pull to evaluate the operation's performance. We will be discussing the main reasons why a particular drilling process could be suspended. PDC dull grading offers various techniques to investigate and find the resolution. These include BHA, bottom hole assembly, DMF, downhole motor failure, DTF, downhole tool failure, DSF, drill string failure, DST, drill stem test, DP, drill plug, CM, condition mud, CP, core point, FM, formation change, HP, hole problems, LIH, left in hole, log, running logs, PP, pump pressure, PR, penetration rate, rig, rig repair, TD, total or casing depth, TW, twist off, TQ, torque, and WC, weather conditions. All these techniques can help us comprehend why a particular drilling process may be suspended.